What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Fuckfest 2020. I'm your host, Video Game Donkey. I wake up very early in the morning, very tired. Look out my window. It's snowing. It's snowing in the middle of in in fucking May, the middle of May, and that that's when I know Brock, Brock Hampton has dropped a song. I check, and you know, there. I don't know if it's officially up yet where I am because I'm hustling. I'm doing this in like I got like two hours to get this up before I'm irrelevant. But I fucking blame Brockhampton. First, before I get into that, I'll tell you who Brockhampton is. Brockhampton is a collective of artists, singers, rappers, graphic designers, you name it, who come together to create under the name Brockhampton. They have released six studio albums, All American Trash, Saturation 1, Saturation 2, Saturation 3, Iridescence, and Ginger. Soon to be you know, number seven, which is going to be Technical Difficulties, if I'm not mistaken, which are the batch of singles we just got. We got two singles. We have a NS NST, and we got, fuck, what's the other one? NST and Things Can't Stay the Same. Now, it sounds like I'm recording this through a microphone that I dipped in chocolate and then froze and then thawed out and then shoved up my ass. Because I'm experiencing technical difficulties. I wish this was a joke. I wish I was doing a meme for the bit, but I'm not. My interface for my mic just completely shit itself. Just terrible electronic noise. Terrible white noise every time I try to record. So, we're going to the good old iPhone, baby. So, you know what? It's kind of fitting for this, but... Now this is going to piss me off. Cause that means I have to get a new interface if I want to record anything. So, I'm pretty mad. But... Brockhampton dropped some tracks, so I'm very conflicted. So hopefully this doesn't sound like total dog shit. I really don't want to have a repeat of the Igor video, because I was doing so good, man. My mic, my mic sounded so fucking fire. Now it sounds like absolute ass. What are you going to do? So, so first what I did was I rotated this bitch upside down, because I need to be able to... Because it's just easier that way. Then I found a color that I wanted to go with. I went with the same color scheme that with the uh, original. And then I got this thing called a matchbox overlay, which is just kind of like a texture to give it like, not so much a clean. Cause this cover, if I know anything about this cover, it's grimy. It's meant to be very gross and decrepit. If you can't tell by the, the photo of the gentleman on fire used. But most of this is just a font tutorial. So you can adjust however you want, but I'll tell you the fonts that I used. I dragged some rulers down and separated where the spine of the J card is. For the 12 font, I used a font called Garamond, Garamond, and I stretched it a little bit so it matched the uh, the proper uh, dimensions. That's what I was looking for. For the Brock, for the BH font, up and down, I went with Calibri. For the technical difficulties logo font, I went with Calibri. Same thing with the radio thing, but I added some bold. I bolded it on the sides to give it a bit more like of a rounded look. The Dolby system, you could just find that anywhere, just look that shit up. The small information on the back side of the J card, I just used Arial fonts. Space it out accordingly. I just wanted to make it look as close to the original image as possible. You can you can shift it up, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You can play it fast and loose. I just wanted to get this shit out. Cause I'm hustling right now. I woke up and I'm I'm getting this shit out within uh, I'm hoping two hours, but might not might not be so. Maybe three hours, but we'll see. Cause I'm recording this and putting it up same day. Crazy, right? And I did create my own uh, personal Brockhampton uh, parental advisory font, but you know, for I couldn't find the file, so for simplicity's sake, I just googled it. So thank you Reddit for being a number one with that kind of shit. And then last is the only font that I had to go like outsource. Um, what is the font called? The font is called Gloss and Bloom. That's what I used. So if you want to, those are all the fonts that I used. If you want to make it as closely as accurate as possible. I made two lines where I put the rulers, which I knew would come in handy, uh, and I just made very small, like, more lines, not really boxes. I made it the same color as the, the whole image, but then I tinted it a little bit darker so it kind of looks like a fold. It looks more like a fold now to give it the impression of, like, a folded J card. And then what I did, this is how you get kind of like a a grimier sense, I guess, this is the best way I could think about doing it in a, such a short amount of time. I took all the fonts and everything, combined the layers, excuse me, and then I combined the white background with the, with the like, logos and writing and stuff. And then what I did was I went to the threshold, 
and then I brought it up a little bit so that it was a bit grimier. That's not the best way I can describe it. And then after that, changed the color of it so it's not as like pure black because it was very pure black before. So after you threshold it, get rid of the white and then what I did was I blurred it a little bit so it looked a, a bit grimier. And then create a box outline where the picture would be because it's not exactly like perfect. There's some imperfection lines on the side. So I made a, a white box around it and then added the picture that I wanted. I did a clipping mask for it and then it gave you the picture being in a little box. So shout, shout out to clipping mask, bro. And then after that, combine everything, flip it upside down. I worked in upside down because it was, it was easier. And then I blurred the whole thing a little bit just to give it some more grime. And then I added the matchbox overlay to the entire thing and you know, I got rid of the saturation because it was kind of yellowish. And then I just made it gray. And that's pretty much it. It's Brock Hampton's. Brockhampton's latest batch of singles. God, God damn. This is a this is a cursed video right here. <sighs> I'm upset. I really am. I was just out of nowhere. I just try to use my mic and then ear piercing, ear piercing white noise. I am so upset. It's not even funny. But we gotta relax. We gotta relax. Nothing we can do about it. But so again, thank you for watching. Shout out to Brockhampton for you know doing some. Doing some weird shit, doing some different shit, which I can appreciate. I can always appreciate that. I'm so flustered. How perfect! It's like it's like I it's like it meant for this to happen. It's like God t knew that I was making a video about technical difficulties, and my mic breaks. I am. Oh my God! All right, whatever. I'm I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Quarantine is still going on in some places, so wash your hands after you shit. Wash your hands after you go in public. Wear a mask. Wear gloves. You know how it be. But, yeah, uh, as long as everyone is, uh, you know, getting their J cards together for their cassette tapes, I think, uh, I think we're good to go. Thank you, and have a pleasant day.